let's start with your reading capricorn today we're going to look into the next six months ahead for you in order to see what the rest of the year will look like we're going to start with two cards for each month to anticipate the type of movements you should expect and then in the second part of the video we're going to dive deeper in all the messages to find out more details together with looking into how your current year is going to end so let's now start with your reading Okay. Wow. <laughs> I love the ending for you. Obviously, I don't want to start the reading from the end, but we see how amazing this is going to be. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. But I'm not going to hide that you do have quite the journey in order to get there. And we'll look into the details. First of all, we see that you are coming into the reading with the energy of temperance. And what this is telling me is that you have been very patient about something or very patient with someone over here. Maybe at times you have been trying to justify someone's actions or lack of action. And you have been neglecting a lot of things that for you are important because you want to make this work, because you want to give this person potentially the benefit of the doubt. But what you don't know is that you are starting to lose yourself in this and you have to make a decision. It, the decision is very much about loving this person or loving yourself, choosing this person or choosing yourself. And I see that right here, that choice is about to come up. So first of all, for the month of July, we have the lovers and the knight of swords. You know, it's clear that this is something that is very important to you and also very important to the other person, regardless of what they show to you or what they don't show to you in this month. We see with the lovers that the both of you are very well aware that this is a very special connection that this is a very intense bond that it's not easy to find but you need to understand that a lot of people when they find what they're looking for or when they have something very special instead of nurture it and make making sure that it's going to stay the way it is they push it away they sabotage themselves. And I do get a lot of that energy from this person. What I see right here with the Knight of Swords is that you are about to make a drastic move regarding the situation. We will look into the details of this, but so far I see you just saying enough. Enough of me trying and you not trying. Enough of me going out of my way to make you feel comfortable while in the meantime, I'm losing myself here. Enough of this. I do not want to play these games anymore. If I'm the only one fighting here, then I'm going to fight for myself instead. So with this Knight of Swords, I do see you making a very important decision next month. And it's going to be something that maybe you are going to even underestimate. Something that you never thought would impact anything, but it's going to. Not immediately, but it's going to kickstart this domino effect, which eventually is going to take you here to this beautiful outcome. When we clarify, we'll look into the details of all of this. Now, for the month of August, we have five of wands and death, rebirth. You know, it won't be long until all the issues will come up on the surface. All the little things in your life that maybe you put up with because you wanted, you wanted them to work out, because you wanted to be patient, and because you did not want to give up right away, are all going to come up on the surface and people are going to be forced to understand what it is that they are doing wrong to you and they're going to be forced to evaluate their own actions 
if they want to stick around, you know, if they want to have you in their life at this point, they need to really look into this and they cannot just rely on the fact that you're going to be patient, that you're going to allow certain things to happen anymore because that chapter of your life, Capricorn, is dead and gone. And we see it right here. You are leaving it behind. You're saying, I understand that at times you have to fight for what you want, right? And you are a fighter, Capricorn. You are not afraid of working hard or being patient about things. But when you see that things are just not working out the way you envision them to, you understand that maybe there is something that you need to change, something that you need to let go of. And this is it, that friction. You're understanding that this month that all these people that do not fight for you or do not fight enough for what they have with you, they might not fight because you're fighting too much, Capricorn, because you're doing all the work for them as well. And so this is a very important and pivotal month, especially considering where it's taking you. If this doesn't happen, this won't happen. So make sure to stand your ground, stick to your guns, and not be afraid of losing something that at the end of the day, you don't really want. Now, for the month of September, we do have temptations. What I see here is you potentially looking back, thinking, did I give up too quickly? Did I maybe move on too quickly? Did I make a choice here, which perhaps needed more time to be made? I see with this Two of Swords, you just revisiting that choice. And, you know, we like to frame these messages, especially in the context of love and relationships. But these are messages that actually spend across multiple areas of your life. And I do see you in the next few months just letting go of the things that bring too much friction and that do not feel like you anymore, do not feel fair to you either. But right here, I see you looking back for a second and you'll need to stay strong. You'll need to really know yourself and know what you're worth, know your value in order to stand your ground right here. Potentially, you are feeling a little lonely at this point. And when we feel lonely or weak for other reasons, we start revisiting things that maybe we have already put aside, that we have already moved on from. But we do that sometimes. So this is the month to be strong, to stay strong, especially considering where you're moving towards. We'll look into what happens this month that you should be careful about, okay, when we clarify. Now, we had July, August, September, for October. Right here is where things are going to start making sense. There is something actually really beautiful and unexpected coming in with that Ace of Wands. And what you see here is that there is definitely a lot of darkness in this card, which is telling us that you are starting the month not really knowing where you're going, not really knowing how your decisions are going to actually impact your environment, your world, everything around you. But all of a sudden, there is good news coming in. There is this spark, this light that it's actually going to make you feel very excited. This is a beautiful month and it feels like a glimpse of what you're actually about to achieve over here. With the Nine of Pentacles, clearly you're going to feel very abundant. There are resources coming your way, it could be money, it could be also just you feeling independent, feeling good in your skin, and feeling proud of the decisions that you have made. This is the month of validation, and the month in which you are going to completely understand that what you're doing is right. It might not feel right in the moment, but it's going to feel right very soon down the line. I see you really being very in control for the rest of the of the year capricorn and it ain't easy it's not easy at all but again look at the prize look at the reward do not give up capricorn because this is really going to change not just the rest of the year but also the years to come now for the month of november we have the eight of cups and the two of cups 
there is something right here that you moved on from emotional this is very very emotional i'm not gonna hide that because with all these caps clearly this is something that impacted you at some point in a very deep emotional way something that you have at some point looked at and say hey you know what this might have made me happy in the past but I don't think that it's ever going to be able to make me happy in the future. And so right here, either you walked away from this or someone walked away from this situation. But regardless, there are messages, there is communication. There is a very important moment right here, which is very much the last challenge. It's the last challenge before the reward. Potentially, this is going to be the hardest one, Capricorn, because when something comes in with such a emotional weight it's very easy to make decisions that in another situation we would have not made you know i really much see this as one of those situations that if you hear about them from a friend of yours and they tell you this person did this and did that you would immediately say why are you still talking to this person or even why are you still talking about them move on forget about this i'll i'll show you what you should do i'll show you what makes sense to do but then when you are in that situation all that beautiful logic and judgment just goes out of the window so this is going to be the another pivotal moment see how they actually overlap each other on top of each other it's very important to see actually and what i see here is that this is your crossroad and either you will go towards this or away from this very important to clarify make sure to make the right decisions here now december i see fireworks <laughs> i see something absolutely beautiful over here and to to just stay in the cups energy we see overall here with the ten of cups that everything you have sacrificed in the second half of the year it's going to finally transform into major rewards i mean when you have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles there is nothing else that you can wish for honestly because right here you have emotional fulfillment you have uh, this feeling of being happy in someone's arms this feeling of belonging into your environment but also right here we see major growth and long-term stability we see you just getting to a place in life where you're starting to see results with minimum input if any it's as if you have been working the whole winter and now summer begins and you just uh you can just really live off all the work that you've done in the past few months now obviously this is not going to be summer in december but mine was just an example it was just an image that i wanted to give you overall right here we have an ending but we have two beautiful new beginnings that honestly will shape up your following year and it's going to be beautiful so i definitely want to clarify this energy as well to see not only what this is going to be but also to see how it's going to impact the beginning of the next cycle the beginning of next year this is absolutely beautiful i definitely see the struggle don't get me wrong you have a lot of challenges in front of you but hey it's going to be absolutely worth it capricorn so this is all i have for the first part of the video if you want to dive deeper into the messages, make sure to follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget Capricorn that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning and Wednesday morning to confirm please make sure to check out your spam folder as well now stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this welcome back to your extended reading capricorn this is really an exciting one for me because what we have seen here is how much standing your ground eventually pays off and also what we have seen here is that one thing that sometimes we forget about is that 
life is really supposed to be easy. Every time that we run into major struggle and major friction, it's because we're trying to fit something that just does not fit. We have an idea for a specific outcome, but sometimes we're guilty of attaching that outcome to people, to situations, whereas instead we should just know what we want and then let the universe show us the way. And this is exactly what's happening right here. If you do that, Capricorn, you are really going towards major happiness, stability, money, resources. How? We'll have to see. So let's start clarifying, starting from the month of July, where you're actually going to make this choice, big or small, we'll see, which is going to kickstart this domino effect, taking you all the way down here. So let's start by clarifying the month of July with the lovers and the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Justice, the Fool, and the King of Wands. Wow, this is actually bigger than I thought. And it's very important because what we see here is...